And Donald Trump declared himself the law and order candidate. Trump claimed yesterday that Hillary Clinton considers herself above the law. A new poll this morning shows Clinton's lead has shrunk to three points. That follows FBI criticism over her handling of emails while Secretary of State. Major Garrett is in Indiana, where Trump campaigns today with a possible vice presidential pick. Major, good morning. Good morning. Donald Trump did not mention by name the two victims of pol fatal police shootings last week or the roiling national debate over police tactics and training. He did say more work needs to be done. Trump wasn't nearly so vague about backing police after a week of tragedy and racial strife. America's police and law enforcement personnel are what separates civilization from total chaos and the destruction of our country as we know it. In his first public comment since the ambush in Dallas, Donald Trump praised police tactics and criticized anti-police sentiment. It's time for our hostility against our police and against all members of law enforcement to end and end immediately right now. In case anyone missed the message, I am the law and order candidate. Trump echoed Richard Nixon, whose 1968 White House campaign vowed law and order at a time of civil rights and anti-war activism. As far as this problem of law and order is concerned, I am for law and order. Roger Stone, a former Nixon aide and close confidant of Trump's, didn't shy away from the comparison, tweeting this edited photo of Trump's face on Nixon's body. Trump is still planning to announce his vice presidential pick on Friday, and the auditions continue. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie yesterday in Virginia. Tonight, Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Pence is a former congressman with close ties to House Speaker Paul Ryan and a long history of fiscal and social conservatism. Nora? All right, we'll be watching. Major, thank you so much.